coming. Uh, the Lord speaks to uh, Peter and says, uh, it ain't for you to know all that. It ain't for you to know all of that. He says, but I want you to go to Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Acts the 28 chapter, verse 21. But then, then we find that Luke writes about the entire intent of the book of Acts. He says, the book of Acts is about how God uses broken people to mend broken things. I love that. Oh my God. You want to shout it right there. That God uses broken people to mend broken things. So the Bible says that Paul preached and the kingdom of God continued no man forbidding. The word in the Greek is akaluto, which means nothing can stop you as long as you're lined up with God. My God. Not a boss, nothing. Not a sickness, nothing. Not a bad situation, nothing can stop you when you surrender to the kingdom of God. So then Paul brings it all home to us as he's in a storm. I want you all to get cocky in your faith. I want you all to be so prepared for your storm that you can look at the raging sea and the boisterous winds and you can say, my God is able, my God is able. With tears in your eyes, my God is able. With frustration in your flesh, my God is able. With worry on your mind, my God is able, my God is able. With despair and destitution, your reality, my God is able. Paul is setting us up for something. He, he shares with us, he shares with us the story. He says that he was on his way to Rome. He told, he told these guys, he told these guys, even as a prisoner, he says, the Lord spoke to me last night and he said, God said, don't move from Crete. Stay in the area of the harbor we're in. Because if we move, he says, we're going to lose our cargo and possibly injure ourselves. Now, that's what the Lord showed Paul. Paul was an apostle. He was a man of great giftedness. He was a man of submission to the kingdom of God. Paul would lie that God said this, but they were not spiritual minded people. They said, forget you, Paul. We got to get to our destination. They pull off from Crete and they go down the road. A storm hits them. In fact, my brothers and sisters, if you read the text, if you read the text, in verse 13 it says that was a gentle south wind. It was gentle at first. That's how it started. That's how it began. They're like, oh, we good. We good. It was gentle at first. And then the Bible says they thought they had obtained what they wanted. But they didn't obtain what God wanted. They got what they wanted. Isn't it amazing they say that it is uh, before a big storm there's always a quietness, a stillness. Say, there's a scary stillness. They, they should have been shaking in their boots because there was a stillness and they were sailor men. They ought to knew that. They ought to knew better. The Bible says. So they weighed the anchor and they sailed along the shore of Crete. Before long, a wind of hurricane force called the Northeaster. I love what your KJV says. You're rock with her. Every storm in your life got a name to it. Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane K. Call it what you want. Your storm had a name. Paul's storm had a name called the Eurachladon. Paul said, don't leave Crete. But they said, we're going anyway. You've got to understand, Paul was in the right, but he was on the boat with the wrong. So now he's caught in a storm. Tell your neighbor, I got caught in your storm. I was praying. I got caught in your mess. I was fasting. I was going to church. in the situation. 
situation as Amanda Knox. You would also may not know the name of the young man involved, Porticello. You would know him. Meredith was the one killed. She was the one killed. Amanda Knox was the roommate. Porticello was the boyfriend. Meredith is suffering today. Don't know if she knew the Lord, but she was in something with some other folk and the prosecutor said they was having wild rock and roll parties. And, 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 and unfortunately, she got the bad end of a bad situation. Now, we've heard Amanda Knox for four years. She's innocent, she's innocent, she's innocent. We ain't heard nothing about Porticello. He got caught up trying to have fun. So now he has a life sentence. They said, well, if she can get off, maybe he can get off. I'm going to tell you, he ain't getting off. He got caught in somebody else's story. What he needs to learn 